anything that is that is an anticoagulant, anything that's an antiplatelet, or um, anything that it definitely anything that's a clot buster, right? We're going to um, take special precautions with. Now, if we're using clot busters, if we're using actual TPA to actually bust a clot, um, we're not going to do anything invasive after doing that because that person would bleed to death. They have nothing um, to, to clot. If a person is taking an anticoagulant like heparin or um, rivaroxaban or coumadin, known as, otherwise known as warfarin, right? We want them to definitely be using a soft bristled toothbrush because we don't want them to cause themselves bleeding. We want them to use an electric razor because we don't want them to cut themselves, right? They should report symptoms of bleeding, including excessive bruising, epistaxis, black tarry stool, coffee ground emesis. And then think about it. I want all students to think about this. Anything that's causing you to have a more likelihood to bleed, these things should cause you to hold the medication and call the provider, right? And if you, especially if somebody's getting warfarin and they haven't had a Coumadin for a long time and they've got excessive bruising or epistaxis, epistaxis is a nosebleed. If they've got any of these things, these people, we need to stand up for these people and we need to hold the med, call the provider and get this cleared up, right? Maybe we need to have an INR ordered. Maybe we need to have a, a PTT um, ordered. Uh, we'll